Yes, yes this is my life. I mean, this is your life. Yeah, I'm nothing without Calaweto or Gibbons. And so this is, um, I have the chance to live my dream. So you mentioned that you've managed in all the 14 years to release 14 yes. Gibbons four, into one the four, forest. Yeah. One four, and now you have 131. Exactly. In just in Borneo. Yeah. In just in Borneo. She says, yeah. W what does it say about the challenges in putting these gibbons into the wild? Protect the forest. The real challenge is protect the forest. Mean nothing. Calaway mean nothing if we don't have any forest to put them back. And many gibbons are ready to be released, but they are stuck in the cage at Calaway because we don't have any forest for them. So this is a, a picture of the situation, how bad the situation is for the forest right now in Indonesia. And it's why I really want to do more and more and more to try to save the forest, like in Pahawe and in Chagaralam here. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I mean, your future is very much tied to the future of these gibbons. Yes. Okay, I mean, you have 131 in the yeah. sanctuary. Yeah. What's going to happen to them if I, they don't have a forest to go back to? What I can do is to make sure they have a decent life at Kalawet, even if they are still in cage. Uh, I already know many of them will never go back to the wild because they are infected by disease. And my job is to make sure they have a decent life, a social life with other gibbons, not alone. And uh, it will never be uh, enough because there's no ideal cage. The ideal cage is a cage you can open so they can be free. So it's an enormous frustration. When I leave France after five years in zoos, I was sick with zoos and cages. My dream was to work with gibbon in the wild. At the end, 14 years later, I have a lot, a lot of cage and many animals in it. And, but at least um, because of the given and the message we are try to, trying to send to the people here, through mm -hmm. the radio, through what we are doing, through all the staff, these mm -hmm. wonderful people who work with me every single day to take care of them, we are able to help the given a little bit and also uh, be able to release many other animals mm -hmm. uh, because given are ambassador. But the colour weight in West Sumatra, that's a little bit different, right, the situation there? Yeah, uh, in Sumatra we have more hope now because we found some release site for uh, a gibbon species called Siamong in Sumatra. So at the end of this year we will be able to release more than 10 family, which is uh, very exciting for us. My dream is to open all the cage. I don't want to see any more animal in cage. What about your hopes for the future? I mean, they said 14 years, but that's not a very long time. You know, when we're talking about conservation efforts, you know, in the future, what are your hopes and what kind of support do you think that you really, you know, would welcome? Um, ideal, the, the biggest dream I can have is uh, um, we don't need any more color in Indonesia. It would mean the situation is okay, it's safe for the gibbon. Uh, but more realistically, uh, I would like to see color working without me. All Indonesian people, local people doing the job and I will be able to focus myself to make a new project somewhere else to help more animals. Uh, I'm, I'm not thinking I'm the best to do that job. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is to spread the message, make sure people like Nanto, like all this guy who worked with me for so many years, uh, are able to do the job and spread the message for me. And I will be able to make new projects and more animals until my my last day. <laughs> uh, I'm planning to make new project uh, probably in Bangladesh for Gibbon as well. But my truly my home will always be Borneo here. And uh, yeah, so many dream, many more projects in my head. We need just the support to do it, to take action. Do you think you'll pass the rest of your life here in y Borneo? <laughs> yes, definitely. My home is Borneo, not anymore France for so long now. And um, even if I'm traveling to save animals from in other parts of the world, I will always come back here because my home is here. Yes, your home is where the gibbons are. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get to the boat. Yeah, okay. For me, Shani is an example of someone who defines his life by his passion and who pursues his dreams tirelessly until they become his reality. By doing so, he not only enriches his life, but the lives of others and the planet that we all live in. And I'm happy to know that he still has many dreams he's determined to make come true in front of him. Ah, oh, we're in the middle of the river. Yeah. Maybe we have to go back now. Yeah, it's time. 
So, Shani, you said that you want to spend the rest of your life here in Indonesia. Actually, we could, yeah, your Bahasa is so good, we could have actually done the whole interview in Bahasa. <laughs> because the show is in English, so we're talking to you in English. But, kita harus tes bahasa Indonesia, Shani, itu luar biasa, bagusnya. Karena mau jadi orang Indonesia. Sekarang ini sampai sejauh mana usahanya untuk jadi WNI? Itu sudah hampir jadi. Jadi mm-hmm. mudah-mudahan satu dua bulan lagi sudah langsung dapat paspor Indonesianya. Jadi, wow. Ya. <laughs> Kenapa asal usulnya ingin jadi WNI? Bukannya Saya... semua izin segala macam kan sudah didapat sebagai orang Perancis. Kenapa merasa harus? Sebenarnya sudah sedemikian. Bagus sih. Ya. <laughs> sudah sedemikian lama di sini. Istri saya juga orang Indonesia, anak saya sudah dua, lahir di Indonesia. Jadi mereka orang Indonesia kan. Jadi saya cuma sendiri di rumah orang asing kan. Jadi, <laughs> jadi memang pengen jadi orang Indonesia karena saya merasa sendiri rumah saya ada di Kalimantan sekarang. Dan sudah 14 tahun, sudah sedemikian banyak pengalaman di sini. Uh, saya sudah yakin mau jadi orang Indonesia. Oke, okay, selamat sekali lagi deh. Mudah-mudahan bisa cepat diproses ya. Ya, mudah-mudahan. Oke, okay, kalau gitu nanti kita wawancaranya bisa semuanya dalam bahasa Indonesia. Sip. Although okay. your English is very good too. Mm, not sure about that. Oke, okay, well, let's go. Oke, okay, let's go. I think we had really exciting time here. And thanks for showing me around and really opening my eyes to see exactly what's going on with the You're Gibbons welcome. and how important it is to actually really protect them and conserve the forest. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go. So what have I learned from my trip to see Chani, the Frenchman who's had a passion for Gibbons since he was a little boy and who's made the jungles of central Kalimantan his home for the last 14 years is that if we want to chase our dreams and make a difference to the world, we have to have total commitment, dedication, passion, and a strong sense of mission. Something that Chani, with his passion and desire to save the Gibbons, can inspire us all with. And that's all for this episode. Don't forget to join me next month where we meet another figure who makes a difference to our lives here on Face to Face with Daisy Anwar, bringing you the world. Woo! <laughs>